Hi everyone, welcome back into my shop. I uh, got an interesting little project here we're going to start working on for the shop. As you see in the picture there, we have an assortment of boring heads. This first one here was a small two and a half inch diameter boring head, which I have a shank that I can put on here to put this in my boring mill. And since this body is two and a half and my spindle on the boring mill is two and nine sixteenths, it, I can get this all the way through a hole, you know, to do some work. That's why I picked that one up. And this is another boring head that I have uh, for my milling machine, which has a number 40 NMTB taper on it, which will not work in my boring mill. And this one here. This is a Chandler duplex boring and facing head. Now it has a Morris Taper number 4 on it. So this is the one I've been using in my boring mill. Uh, it's about a 3 inch, 3 inch diameter body I'd say. But I came across something else and this is where our new project is going to start in at. I'm going to roll this one in. Now, this is a boring and facing head. Has a five inch diameter body. Holds an inch and a quarter shank boring bar. Let's put this one over here beside it. So there's a little difference there, huh? But we got one problem. Uh, no shank. So that's going to be our project. Inside of here, you can kind of catch, we have threads. It's a three inch shaft with four threads per inch. That's what this mount is at. So what we're going to do, or what we have to do, is we got to get something like that in there. So, how are we going to do that? Well, to start with, I went, cut off a chunk of uh, chrome shaft that I had laying around here and chrome shafting is good material to work with so even you got a bad chrome shaft there's still good iron in it so what we're going to do is start making a our adapter out of that chunk right there to go in there and get us more staper forward and then we're going to have a boring head for our horizontal boring mill all right, so let's get started. First, we're going to get it up in a lathe and uh, face off both ends and put centers in both ends. Well, here we're at the lathe, and I've been doing some work on the part. Um, I'll show you kind of what we got going here. I had to cut a relief down here this will be the threaded area I made a light pass and the threads are all lined up and I got another relief back here for when we get out of the threads and the reason I did that is I got to show you the boring head this is the boring head and uh, see that area right there I believe that's where it seats up at not not out here because this is to me it looks like it's well, kind of dinged up and not not a seat area, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And that's relieved down in there, and you have that area from there to the wall. I think that's where it seats up at. So on the face, 
If you can see it in there, I've got that relieved back in behind. And uh, so that there's kind of a land there. Let's see if I can get you there. That looks pretty good. Now you can see how that's relieved to go in there and seat up against that area. They call and this a boring, boring and facing head. It's, it's actually not. This is just a boring head. Um, but one thing, it does have a uh, veneer scale here. So I think if you want, you yeah, think you can make some nice fine adjustments with that. I don't know if that will show up on there, but over here there's a zero. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six lines back here. So you can get, I'm not sure if that would be tenths then or not. Maybe somebody smarter than me could tell you, but anyway, um, I did a lot of this off camera, but now I'm going to show us uh, doing a little threading. So I guess we'll get started here. Okay, so we're going to get started threading. First we'll put a little oil up on here. Get the machine running. Now when I come up on the number, we'll go. Here we go. continue cutting on this and when I uh, when I get it done I'll bring you back our thread pitch gauge is everything showing up just the way we want it so I'm gonna finish cutting the threads and I'll bring you back to show you the final thread Okay, so we got our threads done. Let's try let's try screwing it on there. I put some blue on here to check and it is showing up that it's hitting down in here. Uh, I doubt if this shows up on camera and not hitting here. And that's what I wanted it to do, was to seat down in this bottom area. Now see, I don't know if you can see there, but I put a little white dab of paint there. Uh, you can see a couple spots maybe here where it's been sitting on there. So I know that it's uh, 
seating where I want it to. Should I get the thread started? There we go. Yeah, that's in. So let's give it a little smack. I think it's working just fine. Tightens right up on there. So, yeah, it's starting to wear the blue off down in here. So it's working. I mean, it's, it's seating where I wanted it to. I didn't want it to seat here. I wanted it to seat here on this area. And that's what it's doing. So I see we're good that way. So now, <clears throat> we're going to turn this thing around and I'll set up a, a center back here and we're going to work off of uh, between the centers from now on. Because I've already got a center put in this side and a center put in this side. So we'll have to whittle that thing there down to the Morris Taper 4 which will take a little while but it's alright so maybe later tonight I'll do that but right now I better work on some money jobs Okay, so we got our piece turned around in the lathe, and you see I got a it's kind of a homemade lathe dog here. It works, and underneath you can see I got a piece of aluminum uh, pinching into the threaded area back there. You see a little better there. You can see the aluminum pieces. Got a dead center back here. And uh, we got a live center over here. And I got my stop set so we can come right up against this. Uh, so we're going to take a 100 thousandths depth of cut. So that would be 200 off the radius. So I thought I'd show you how this works. We'll get the machine running. And we'll show you. As soon as I put it in gear. Alright, there we go. Now we're ready.
stock tip to kick it out of there. Let's see if I can see what that speed is. I can figure out the speed we is going in. Uh, we were probably going about what, 180, I think. About 180 RPMs. Anyway, I got more to chew off of there, but I thought I'd show you that. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> 